Let me tell you a story, and you tell me, is it material for a comedy or a tragedy? It's a small dinner party. Let me go with dinner already. I'm running out of obsequious banter. Suddenly, an unexpected person shows up. Melinda? Melinda, what are you doing here? I could use a drink. Champagne or white wine? Wait. You have the makings of a delightful human comedy here. Hurry up. I'm running out of obsequious banter. You're dressed very sexy. Melinda, hi. I just took some sleeping pills. Well, how many? 28. Call 911. Stay and just eat. It's going to get cold. I'm going to be sick. Oh, no, throw up. That's the best thing. No, 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 not on the carpet. That's a new carpet. But Go to the bathroom. Doug and I know somebody who would be perfect for Melinda. I have a very good prospect for Melinda. Can I get to know you better? He's smart. He's got a dental practice in Manhattan. What does she want to do with a dentist? She was already married to a doctor. A dentist is the same thing, but oral. You could establish something real, not more unrealistic pipe dreams. Oh, I'm sorry. Did that come out harsh? <laughs> I can't stop thinking about Melinda. My marriage has been in the decline for a long time. You feel like we don't communicate anymore? Of course we communicate. Now, can we not talk about it? Oh, it was there in his talk, in his eyes. And you flirted back. It's not like we planned on it happening. Poor Melinda. What do you do for exercise? An occasional anxiety attack. What do you want? To want to live. I wish I could be with Melinda without hurting my wife. I think you should know. You're having an affair with Steve Walsh? He's wonderful. He's, he's clever. He's smart. He's fabulously wealthy. Do that.